Rachel with Maggie, and she and I are going to practice loose leash walking today. So I've noticed that it seems like um, it's kind of more of a problem with her on this harness. She's still not really used to it. So I really want her to uh, get used to that now. Now, one thing with the harness is sometimes it actually promotes pulling, and that's because if the dog feels restrained and you're kind of pulling back on them, um, it's their natural instinct to lean into it and to pull more, to go against um, whatever pressure they're feeling. Also, with the harness, Maggie can get more body weight and more strength behind it, so she can actually pull harder. So, with those reasons and the fact that she's not used to it, that's why it's really important for us to practice the loose leash walking with her so that she's good even on this harness. Uh, now, her friends are going off to water park, which as you can see, she is very excited about. So it will give us some perfect distractions to work on walking um, on a nice loose leash. So let's go. Once she actually saw the dogs in the water, she wasn't really responding, responding to the back method. Um, and so the reverse method gets her attention a bit farther, uh, a, a bit better. Uh, and remember what I use is the, the stop, pat, same Maggie back is what I call the back method and turning 180 degrees from her, walking in the opposite direction, I call that the reverse method. So let's just keep walking. Fun. Hey, Maggie, this way. Good girl. Good even with the harness um, when you do have to correct her and especially if you're doing the reverse method um, a lot of times our first reaction especially with a nice comfy handle on this uh, leash here our first reaction is to just pull back with all of our strength like that that's not as effective it's more effective to do kind of quick jerks like that see even doing that Maggie is that good girl so she is responsive um, to the jerks on the harness that way. Um, we do that because again, if there's constant pressure, the dog will kind of fight that pressure and you know try to uh, pull against it. And also, if they're already pulling, they're kind of used to that pressure. And so if they're pulling, there's pressure anyway, and then there's just me you know, saying, Maggie, no, back, this way, or something like that. But if you do quick jerks, it really catches their attention a lot more and they, um, uh, they respond a bit better to that. Now, um, it's a little harder with the angle that this harness is on. The harness is really good for walking. I mean, she can't get tangled up in the leash at all or anything like that, but it's not as um, at a good an angle as a regular collar for uh, doing the quick pops. So, that might take a little bit of practice. It might feel awkward, but um, depending on how she's walking, just practice with different angles, you know, whether it's back, up, to the side, or something like that. 
that of the, the most effective way to give her those little pops for a correction. So we're just gonna uh, keep walking around and then I have another distraction up my sleeve that we will go for. Good morning. Now Maggie's really good about getting one correction and uh, correcting the behavior for quite a bit. Especially around here where Maggie's so comfortable, she knows what's expected of her. So she is just kind of uh, calling my bluff about uh, <laughs> if I'm going to, you know, actually correct her. She'll see if she can get away with the pulling. And when uh, I don't let her get away, then she kind of gives up on trying. She's, oh, okay. And she walks nicely on a leash on a leash. So she really does know um, the two correction methods well and she knows what's expected of her but she's a dog and she's still uh, pretty young so of course she's going to try to get away with that um, if there's something exciting you know if she can. So I'm going to walk her back the other way and we have another um, I have another distraction idea for her. So come on Maggie. We haven't had lunch yet, so we have this. Now Maggie gets super excited. You can maybe guess what we make her do before we give her her lunch. <laughs> um, when we get her lunch out in the daycare, she gets super excited. Sometimes she jumps up, really spins circles. Um, but I've noticed that Maggie can control herself a lot better when she knows she, she's on leash. It. Um, lets her know that she's really uh, working. <laughs> oh, she's getting drool all over herself. You aren't that hungry, I promise. Okay, so Maggie, stay. Actually, ah, ah, ah. I'm going to move this over here so we have room to go all the way around it. Sit. Stay. Now I'm telling her stay, not wait, because I'm not going to release her to go to that. Christy, come on. Why are we walking away? Good girl. Uh-uh. This way. Okay, now, when I told her, uh-uh, Maggie, this way. When I told her good girl, I could see where that would be a little confusing because a lot of times that's used as a release word. Maggie, come here. This way. Um, but I also try to use it in the loose leash walking when she does what I want. Uh, use good girl as reinforcement. Here because she's so focused on the food, she took that as to mean she could go. And you can see getting a little stubborn. She doesn't want to do it. So Maggie, this way. Now for something like that, I really like to use the reverse method. Even though I'm not, um, Maggie, this way. Even though I'm not switching directions, I'm going in the opposite direction that she's pulling. So she's pulling back, so I'm going forward. I get this way. You can see I'm trying to do the sharp, um, the quick uh, pops. Good girl. Good job, man. Let's see if we can make it all the way around the circle without pulling. So she did a really good job. Um, I'm glad we practiced it because she is trying to get away with pulling in a lot of cases. Um, however, she does know her command. She does know how to walk on a leash the right way and how we want her to. So it's just a matter of enforcing that with her and not letting her get away with it. Because as soon as we enforce it, it almost fixes the problem completely. All right, this was Rachel and Maggie. We're working on loose leash walking, and now we're going to have some lunch. Okay. Good girl.